Everyone in France knows Charles de Gaulle, the national hero of World War II. An icon that gives his name to streets, stations, places, even to the largest airport in Europe. But who knows Anne de Gaulle? His beloved mentally disabled daughter and the eponymous foundation he created to encourage the inclusion of disabled people in society. Until December 3rd, nobody did. Le plus grand aéroport européen change de nom. C'est un geste symbolique d'une puissance et d'une force incroyable. Le général de Gaulle laisse sa place à sa fille Anne. On luggage tags, carts, in the queues, on the boarding passes, at arrivals, departures, on all screens, even on road signs. C'était partout. C'était partout. Il y avait Anne de Gaulle sur les annonces. Bienvenue à l'aéroport Anne de Gaulle. C'était vraiment une première mondiale. Dans les airs, le personnel annoncera la nouvelle appellation. Bienvenue à Paris, aéroport Anne de Gaulle. And in giant letters on the iconic facade of the terminal. During a week, 1.4 million travelers pass through Anne de Gaulle Airport. Baptisé comme Anne de Gaulle. Turning a simple change of name into an international conversation and making French society reconsider mental disability and inclusion. Les symboles font avancer les choses. Une opération exceptionnelle effectivement à retentissement international. Il faut aujourd'hui rendre notre société accompagnante. It only lasted a week, but for Gautier, Philippine, Léa and the million French disabled nationals, we changed their lives as they are now not only unignorable but celebrated.